Hi! Today we are going to be learning on how to make our own sprite and a background up here. We'll also be learning how to make this sprite move. Let's start. First, we'll delete this cat. We do this using the cross button. Now, we choose our own sprite. You can pick whichever one you want for your project, but I'll choose a hair. Look, there's our snowshoe hair here. Now, we are going to make our own backdrop. We choose it from here, and we have lots of different backdrops. I'll go for Arctic. Look, our snowshoe hair is on the arctic. Yay, we managed it. Now, to make it move. First, we need to go to the events section, where we take this flag. This is when the green flag is clicked. After that, we'll then put a forever loop. This will make our rabbit keep on running. So we'll then go to the next costume in the look section. Too, too fast. We must slow it down. So we do a wait one second. Okay, now this is a little too slow, so we must make it 0.1. Okay, now our rabbit is jumping around. It looks quite realistic. What would happen if we took out the forever loop for a moment and put this in? It would just run once and wouldn't keep on running again and again. But with forever loop, it keeps on running forever. Now, to make it move, we go to the motion and get the move 10 steps. We'll move it down here, and we can see our rabbit is moving. That's great. Our rabbit moves, but it goes off the screen. How to fix this? We need to change the X and the Y. Right now it's in its right position and it's telling that x is minus 211 and y is minus 72. It auto goes and finds out its value, puts in the go to x so we don't need to do the work. So then after that we put it in the start and we let it run. Go snowshoe hair, run, run. Now it's come back as soon as I click this. Okay, that's it for this tutorial. Bye!